Hi, this is Ken Lau, and I'm demonstrate how to do a filter from this list, right? Based on a, a parameter of selectors. So, right here, if I could change this according to here, I type in Kalina and right click. I choose refresh. You have a refresh button. So this is kind of like advanced filters. Now let's see how this be done. So I'm gonna just delete that and also delete this. Deleting this query, I'll go that start all this again. So I have this data and I'll create this criteria and I go to this uh, data tab I choose from table okay so right now this table is given no table one name the query is called table one and it's basically uh, some we're gonna do some filtering filtered uh, a final report right or a month end report so we're going to say uh, year end sorry annual report right so the, the fast these steps are not needed so what we're going to do is that we will do um, some filtering so filter based on Ourselves, right and then that's about it and we also want to remove uh, some others color but that was later right so let's just demonstrate one first and let's go to the close and little and go to table assisting table we click on this uh, so we can just type this in right or click on this button and click on this okay and look so this is a table right so right now if I change to uh, other let's say I sell right hey, sorry uh, Kalina and right click refresh oh doesn't work so we got to do something else right so the second step is to go to data from paper but notice that actually uh, we are using this I've named this table first so I have the table and then I go to the view tab advanced editor and here I'm going to type in uh, criteria 1 and this is called the um, M language and um, get this brand column so what it does is that it takes this table right from the source step which that's why we have a hash there right and then uh, and then we take this first one which is index as zero right and then we look at from the brand column right if you have a multiple columns you can always select that so we take that first row of data and only one cell right one one value which is from the brand column and that's what the query does right it extract only one value from this table click done okay so there's a token right and that is very uh, common 
right? Because uh, we are added one line of code, but we forgot to put a comma. The last code do not need a comma. It's done. All right. So we have another one, comma. Record dot. Sauce. So let's just tweak again, right? So maybe it's just fills. Nope. So record dot fill from the brand column. This seems does not work. Maybe records. Nope. Mm, let's look at record dot fill okay so we don't need to step there so done there are right we done this go to close close and load to we are basically loading into a as a connections so now we go back to this first query so we have created two query uh, we just double click on this now uh, we go to the wheel tab at once editor and right here so we're going to create a step right here zero one right and uh, we can get this just one moment right oh uh, because cancer so we have two step over here. So so we want to input this. We want to get the result from this uh, query call table branch. And remember to put comma because this is what's at the rows, right? And then here we change this to. criteria zero one and done does it work yes Kalina right so now I just close and load so now if I change it to can't and I right click refresh it works so that it's a simple power query with parameter uh, thank you for watching this thank you